Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1983 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the California Angels at Anaheim Stadium. On the mound for the Tigers today is Jack Morris, whose record is 16-8 with a 4-0-1 ERA. And pitching for the Angels today is that son of a bitch, Frank Tanana whose record is 14-9 with a 4.01 ERA. That's right, that son of a bitch. Frank Tanana. First time we're seeing him in a while. It feels like a long time since I've had to uh, call out Frank Tanana. And uh, the Angels have the edge already this series, as they won yesterday, 10-7. Uh, to 7. Doesn't get any easier with old Frankie on the mound. Uh, but we do have our ace, Jack Morris, going today. Um, let's take a look at the Angels uh, team page. We forgot to do that yesterday. It was not a good day for me yesterday. We'll take a look at the uh, team page and then quickly at the um, stadium effects for Anaheim Stadium. Uh, they do have a couple injuries. Don Asi, reliever, and uh, Ron Romanek, who's always injured in this game. Uh, top prospects, uh, nobody to get really excited about. Craig Br Craig Graybeck, pretty good five foot three hitter, you know. Um, and expiring contracts, uh, they do have a few players who are uh, pretty decent. Uh, I mean, look at these look at these guys here. Uh, pretty decent players that will uh, be looking for new deals at the end of the year. Uh, looks like John Harris might be the best of the group. Um, and yesterday's pitcher, Dave Frost, is another one. Everybody else here is probably expendable. Um, let's see here. They are in first place. Uh, they have a three-game lead now. Um, team batting average, 271, so they could hit. Uh, their ERA uh, uh, as a team is over four. And uh, Ed Halicki is uh, leading the team in ERA. Frank Tanana's got 14 wins. Mark Clear, we saw him yesterday come in and get the save. His 25th on the season. Carnival worker Lansford is batting 300. Uh, John Harris, 26 home runs. And uh, Gary Pettis, uh, second in the AL uh, to Otis Nixon of the Yankees with 59 stolen bases. Okay, let's take a quick look here at uh, Anaheim Stadium. Then we'll get the ball game going. So here it is, Ana Anaheim Stadium. Uh, yeah, so home runs by left-handers. We saw a lot by the uh, Angels yesterday. I believe they hit three home runs uh, in yesterday's game. It's, uh, they're 26% more likely to hit home runs as a left-hander, 6% more as a right-hander. Hits for lefties right around league average by righties, just a little bit above league average. Doubles 3% less likely. Triples almost never happen in this park. Uh, strikeouts are just... Uh, below league average uh, at 93. Double plays are up 22%. Errors are up 18%. And a couple of those yesterday really bit us in the high knee. Um, okay, let's uh, get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Uh, there will be two, uh, two contests uh, starting uh, at the end of this week, so be on the lookout for um, contest number one, which will be part of our 1980 Detroit Lions alternate history season coming up, uh, starting on September 11th, but uh, stay tuned for the contest. It should be by the end of this uh, four-day weekend we have here with Labor Day coming up. Okay, uh, Jack Morris on the mound. A terrible start yesterday from Dave Rosema, who... I think his goose is pretty much cooked. Um, oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't Rosie. It was uh, Jeff Robinson. I'm sorry. Jeff Robinson. Uh, he started yesterday. Uh, his worst start of his three. Uh, so we um, don't have Gumpert or Doug Drabeck available today. Still have a pretty decent uh, bullpen available. I did take Jeff Robinson out of the five-man rotation and put Danny Jackson in there next time through to see what he's got for us. Uh, current lineup for the Angels, only 48 plate appearances, and they're batting 167 versus Jack. Here's our lineup versus the lefty, Frank Tanana. We um, have more lefties in the lineup than usual. 
Uh, Greg Brock's in there. Gibby's in there. These guys don't hit lefties particularly well. Uh, Whitaker does, though, and he'll be leading off for us today. Okay, let's do the official Tigers lineup rundown. Batting leadoff, playing second base, is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting second, playing shortstop, is Alan Trammell. Batting third, playing third base, is George Brett. Batting cleanup and DHing is Mickey Hatcher. Batting fifth in right field is Glenn Wilson. Batting sixth, playing first base, is Greg Brock. Batting seventh and catching is Lance Parrish. Batting eighth in left field is Kirk Gibson. And batting ninth in center field is Kevin Bass. Let's take a look at this son of a bitch. He's a 30-year-old lefty. He's making a million dollars a year through 1985. Making his 28th start on the season. 14-9, pretty good record. ERA just a tick above four. 134 Ks and 188 and a third innings pitch. So this is the reinvented uh, Frank Tanana after going through that um, arm surgery he had uh, back in 1979 where uh, he no longer was just really a strikeout pitcher, more of a finesse pitcher. Opponents are betting 268 against him. Five complete games, one shutout. Yeah, his fastball only tops 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 40.7, so he's definitely a, um, a fly ball pitcher, uh, giving up 21 home runs so far this season. His curveball is now his out pitch. It's rated a 92, fastball's at 84, overall rated an 86. Um, I, and he hasn't played, yeah, he has not faced us this year. Um, coming off a of no decision versus the uh, Cleveland Indians. Let's take a look at the Angels' defense. They got uh, Don Baylor out there in the left, who is a defensive liability. Otherwise, pretty decent everywhere else. And it is the same lineup as yesterday, I believe. So, Okay, here's Sweet Lou leading off against Frank Tanana. Pretty good success against Frank. He's got two home runs. And Tanana walks Whitaker. So the leadoff man is on. We will let Trammell swing away here instead of hitting and running. What is, um, what's the stolen base percentage? Yeah, it's under 70. Tanana, a left-handed pitcher. Can't get a good jump on those, usually. Trammell sends a fly ball into right center field. There is out number one. Next man up is George Brett, batting only 219 versus lefties. He does have a career home run against Tanana, and Tanana walks Brett. So both left-handed batters have walked so far today. Not a good start for Tanana. Here's Mickey Hatcher now. Runners on first and second. Oh, Mickey! Giving Frank the middle finger. Three-run home run. Only his 14th on the season. I guess we could have predicted that happening with those two walks. Um, that is the 14th home run on the year for Mickey. He's got 79 RBI. I believe he has the team lead back. Or maybe he's tied with Wilson. Here he is. Yeah, he's got one. He's one up on Wilson now. All right. That was a nice little rally there as Wilson comes up and hits a ground ball to short. And Dickie Thon grounds, uh, hits the grounder. There's out number two. That will bring up Greg Brock. He does not hit lefties at all. But he's our everyday first baseman. Got to give him a shot here. Popping it up to second base. So that will do it. Tigers get three runs only on one hit. Two walks in there, too. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's do the Angels lineup rundown. Batting leadoff, playing center field, is Gary Pettis. Batting second, playing third base, is Carney Lansford. Batting third in right field is Mike Brown. Batting cleanup and DHing is Daryl Sconiers. Batting fifth and catching is Brian Harper. Batting sixth, playing first base, is John Harris. Batting seventh at shortstop is Dickie Vaughn. Batting eighth at second base is Steve Lubertich. And batting ninth in left field is Don Baylor. 
Jack Morris on the mound, making his 29th start, 16 and 8 with a 4.01 ERA, 131 Ks in 190 and two thirds innings pitched. Taking a look at his log, uh, two starts ago he was atrocious versus Texas. Bounce back. Uh, against the Mariners on August 29th, uh, going seven innings, giving up one run on only three hits. He did walk three, but nine Ks, which was a season high for him. Uh, that's how he got his 16th win. Uh, you pretty much know the rest. 94 mile an hour fastball. The splitter is his out pitch. Overall, he is rated an 88. The 28 year old right hander goes to free agency uh, in 1984. Let's take a look at the Tigers' defense for today. Everybody, where they belong. We got Parrish behind the plate. He's got an 84 arm. And uh, we'll need him back there with Gary Pettis leading off against Jack Morris. Tigers up three already as Pettis gets a base hit up the middle. Will Pettis be running? I think he probably will. Here's Carney Lansford. Lansford flips it to right. Pettis not going, at least with Lansford up there. There's one down. Mike Brown faced Morris three times, struck out twice. And a base hit to left. Pettis will go to third. And Morris uh, in a little bit of a jam here. 20 pitches already. Wow. Uh, we're going to keep everybody back. Because uh, Pettis is going to score with that speed no matter what. So we'll keep people back. Try to get a double play here. Brown, terrible speed. Scania's just above average. Oh, it's a base hit. All right. And an error by Wilson allows Brown to go to third. So this is the uh, reverse mogul inning. Here's the catcher, Brian Harper. It's 3-1 to one now. And a base hit down the line. Three to two. We'll pull the infield in, but it ain't gonna matter. And the game is tied. Just like that, the two aces of the staff cannot get it done today. A walk from Morris, a balk. Ground ball to first. A 38 pitch first inning for Morris. It's all tied at three. The lead erased just like that. We need to lose two more in order for it to be, um, you know, whatever I think the projected uh, win loss record, uh, the game predicted anyway. As uh, Parrish pops out, one down. Kirk Gibson. Lefty on lefty violence there. Base hit to right. We're not even going to try for a double. Uh, we'll let Bass take a cut. Striking out. Wow. Dropped right off the table with that curveball. Nice pitch. 72% mm, chance for Gibby to steal second. We may as well because it's a lefty up there. If he doesn't make it. At least we'll start with the top of the lineup. Gibby's going on the curveball. Oh, come on! I mean, a three-run lead. We've given up three runs. There was two. Uh, there was a walk in there, a balk, and Gibson can't steal second base on a 71 mile an hour curveball. Unbelievable. Let's just get it over with. There's a walk. This game is over. Another walk. That's going to drop in, perhaps. No, it'll be caught. Baylor will hold. A pop-up from Brown. Morris has three walks because he had nine strikeouts last time. So the, the game won't allow it to happen. Ground ball to first. Surprised there wasn't an error. There was an error in the first inning, too. We can't forget that on Wilson. Whitaker lining out. Trammel popping out. Brett striking out. 
Harper base hit. Five hits against Morris to go with those three walks. And there's another home run. It's five to three. Base hit for Thon. Ground ball to third. Double play. Baylor strikes out. Hatcher popping it up. Wilson with a base hit. Deep fly ball for Brock. Out number three to the fourth. One down. To the fifth. Gibby walks. Fly ball to left. Infield single for Whitaker. First and second. Well, a base hit that gets past the third baseman. Gibby scores. Here's Mickey Hatcher. He's already got a three-run shot today. Ground ball to second. Morris almost had 100 pitches. Oh, now he is. Another home run for Harris. That's his second today. Six to four. Wilson another base hit. Nope. He gets a double. That is Wilson's team leading 18th double, I believe. Brock. Deep fly ball to center again. Wilson will advance. How is how would he not just make it? So stupid. Two run shot for Parrish at dead center field. That'll tie the ball game. Number nine on the year. Morris going back out for the bottom of the sixth. Going to the seventh. Wow. Whitaker with his 22nd home run gives the Tigers the lead. They're going to bring in T.R. Bright, and they just gave him a contract. Well deserved. This guy is uh, an excellent reliever, even though he never made it to, he didn't make it to the majors until 1986. That's an 87 tops card. So. Uh, he's way ahead of schedule. Whitaker gives Tigers the lead. Trammel grounds out. And Brett. Rounding out. Mickey Hatcher. Infield single? <laughs> Infield single for Mickey Hatcher. Uh, this game. Wilson, his third hit. And an error by Baylor. Well, let's see if Greg Brock can blow it open here. One, two count. And he strikes out. We are going to the bottom of the seventh inning. Carnival worker Lansford striking out. Mike Brown goes deep. That'll tie the ball game. Comebacker and Brian Harper popping it up. 
140 pitches for Morris. Go to the top of the eighth inning. We'll take out Parrish. Bring in Terry Kennedy. 279 hitter. Striking out. Striking out. Well, Morris can't get the win, can't get the loss. We'll bring in Dave Rucker. John Harris, he's got a couple home runs today. Striking out. Dave Smith. Double for Lupicic. Don Baylor. They say, oh no, Whitaker's going to snag it and move on. Walking Bryden. Whitaker on first. Here is Trammell popping it up. Wow, Brett's going to gap it. Will Whitaker score from first? He does. Tigers take the lead. Infield in. Calling for a sack fly. Line drive to right. That should get Brett in. And Wilson strikes out. Roger Weaver comes in for the save. Striking out Pettis. Fly ball in the right center field. And Mike Brown with two down. Fly ball. That should do it. Tigers win. All right. Yeah, we didn't gain a game anyway. All right, let's see here. So California, Seattle, Oakland loses again. Wow. That is a shame. Montreal, two games up now, winning six in a row. Uh, I mean, that is not a good team. Uh, and Cincinnati is um, half game up. Headline news. Six RBI for Traber. Three hits, a stolen base, a home run. Ray Smith, three for three. Alan Bannister, one for three, two walks. I almost said three for two. I, <laughs> I just totally misread that. Hatcher powers Tigers to a nine to seven win. Uh, I had four RBI, that's nice. Um, Detroit, uh, clean up hitter. Two hits, a home run. A run, four ribbies, Whitaker. Two for three, two walks, a home run. Um, Brett had a triple, two runs, two ribbies. Glenn Wilson, three for five. That's a tough one for player of the game. Transactions. Oh, shit. Well, Eddie Murray gets injured. He is out for seven months. Um... That is a shame, and he's a free agent, too. He did not... Well, I guess he continued to do what he was doing when he was traded to Toronto. Um, I mean, being a left-hander batting in that stadium, like that's all he could do. I don't think stadium effects mean anything in this ballgame. Like, there's no point. You must just have a cookie-cutter stadium for each uh, ballpark. Uh, Kurt Kaufman... The closer, who's currently injured until the playoffs, uh, does get a four-year extension. So, that's cool. All right, we'll pull up the box score and get out of here. Tigers win 9-7. to seven. Uh, It's kind of ridiculous, and I'm pretty frustrated with this game. Uh, I mean, it's always fun when you win, but I don't, and I don't mind losing, but it's just... 
the way this game uh, goes about it, uh, Morris giving up three home runs, two to John Harris, who has 28. Um, Whitaker got his 22nd, the Parrish's ninth. Sticky Mickey got his 14th. Uh, we had five extra bases. The, the caught stealing by Gibson is ridiculously stupid. Um, the error by Wilson, I mean, whatever, I guess. But it all contributed to the first inning, which made no sense at all. We're going to give it to um, Mickey Hatcher. Even though George Brett did have a game-winning RBI, uh, Hatcher went deep, and he had four RBI today. So he will be the player of the game. Dave Smith gets the win. He's 5-3. Roger Weaver gets his 24th save. That's pretty good. I think our first year we had Aurelio Lopez as our closer. And I think he had 32. He led the American League that year. So Weaver's got a little way to go to have a, a team record for us. But I don't think he's going to get there. Uh, all right, that's going to do it. We'll come back tomorrow, play game three of the four-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great night.